Okay, so we're back. Took a little break there. Um, so we have our uh, graph say, uh, saved here. We, we created the graph. It looks just the way we want it. Now we need to get this graph inserted into the um, lab report that you're working on. In this case, it's called the ODIR lab report. Uh, it should have been shared with you via Google Classroom. Um, and you each would have your own version of that document to edit. So you need to insert your graph into your lab report. The way you do that is you will click on this graph and you'll notice you get a little triangle here to click on. So let's click on that triangle and we will save this image. When you click this, uh, Google Sheets will create a, a .png file of that graph. And you'll notice that it uh, saves it into your downloads folder down here. So, and it's just called image, which is not super helpful. So what I would do is I would click on this and ask it to show the full, show this document in the folder. And the first thing I'm going to do is give it a better name. So I right clicked on it and I will rename it to, this is, oh, dear graph. Pretty clever, right? All right. So now we have a name for our graph. It's here in our downloads file. Hit enter there. Okay. So that's the image that we want to insert into the into the lab report that you're working on. So now you would want to go to your lab report. Here I made a quick copy of it here. Uh, this should look familiar hopefully. So um, you're, you would have been working on this already. Probably your data would be filled in already. But like I said, I just made a quick copy of this for uh, demonstration purposes. At the top of page two, you'll notice that it asks you to create a line graph using Google Sheets, save the image, and insert it below. How do you do that? Well, we click right here, nope, right there, see? And then um, we will go to insert image. All right, and it opens up this window. You could navigate to where you save the file, or more easily, I think, go back to this uh, folder view. We'll just grab the ODIR graph and drop it right there. Google takes care of all the hard work, and suddenly your graph is inserted into your document just like you wanted it to. All right, so um, then you know you would carry on answering the rest of the questions and filling in all the stuff that you need to fill in for your graph. But at least this part, that's how you insert the graph into your document. All right, I think that completes our quick demo on how to graph and how to insert into Google Docs. All righty.